practice it self check 4.7 medium of 3 we are given the code and the following method attempts to return the median which is the middle of three integer values but it contains logical errors we need to see in what case does the method return an incorrect result and fix this given code so looking at this we have our method header which is a public static int medium of three that takes three integers as parameter n1 n2 and n3 all of them being integers so we need to find whatever of these values that are passed in is the middle integer is the median so we'll first look at this if statement and see if there's anything wrong with it first we have our if and our if is saying if n1 is less than n2 we are going to be in here so if we compare our n1 and n2 our n1 is going to be less that means n3 either is going to be greater than in the middle or less than so first we have this if statement that checks if n3 is greater if n3 is greater we're going to write if n2 is less than n3 so this is basically saying n3 is greater than n2 and greater than n1 well that means n2 would be in the middle so we would have we would have a return of n2 otherwise if our n3 was less than n2 we would be inside of this else statement this else statement looks a little bit sparse so we might have to add on to it so this else statement what it's basically going to be saying is if our n3 is less than n2 we will be inside of here we need to have this in an else statement because this n3 can either be in the middle of n2 and n1 or it can be less than n1 so we are going to write statements for that so we're going to get rid of this return n3 here it's a little bit too soon for that so we can have an if statement in here and we can test if our n3 is if it's less than n1 if our n3 is less than n1 that means that n1 will be in the middle because if n3 was greater than all of this it would be up top it would be in this if statement that means n3 has to be either here or here so n3 being less than n1 meaning it's down here so that means n1 would be our middle and we would just return n1 otherwise if our n3 is greater than our n1 that means it also has to be less than n2 so that means n3 will be in the middle and we can have this else statement that will just return n3 i like to clarify exactly what i'm coding out so we'll write outside of here in a comment if our n3 is greater than our n1 and this just basically lets our code know what we're doing because we can't have an else if statement we need an else statement always especially when we're in a method and we need to return something lastly we have this else statement right here and this is basically saying if our n2 is less than our n1 we will be inside of here this is the alternate form of this so if our n2 is less than n1 we will be inside of here we will look at this if statement first we have n2 and n1 so we're just going to look at n3 if n3 is greater than our n1 that means that our n1 is in the middle because n3 is greater than n1 which is greater than n2 and if that is the case we want to be returning n1 so this is correct our else statement again just like earlier looks a little bit sparse so we're gonna have to add on to this so in our else statement we can write as a comment outside of our else statement actually if our n3 is less than n1 we will be in here because that means this n3 can be between these two but it can be between n1 and n2 and it can also be beat underneath n2 so we're gonna have to test for that we'll do the same thing as we did up here just replacing some things we'll say if our n3 is less than our lowest which is n2 here that means n2 is our middle so we're just going to return n2 otherwise we are going to have an else statement and we will write comments out here so we're gonna do we know what we're doing we'll say if our n3 is greater than n2 in other words if this is reversed so if n2 is on the bottom n3 is in the middle between n2 and n1 we are going to be in here 
we're gonna have n2 is less than n3. This is a little bit confusing, which is why I'm leaving all of these comments here. That means n2 is our smallest, n3 is the middle, and n1 is the largest. If this is the case, we're just going to return n3 and close off our code like this. So this would be the entire method. If we submit this, we can see that we have passed all eight out of eight tests. So this is the code that will find the medium of three integers for this practice it self check 4.27 medium of three problem.